Makers. In this video, we are going to see step by step how we can send any sensor data from different Arduino boards using onboard or external Wi Fi module to my SQL database. You can use any local server of your choice without difference. But for this tutorial, we are going to use XAMPP Server. You can get the link to the full installation video of XAMPP. In the description box, click on My SQL Admin and open PHP My Admin. Now you can create a new database. Let's name it sensor underscore db. Now we need to create a table in sensor underscore db database. Let's name the table sensor underscore data and let's make it to have for columns, which are ID, temperature, and humidity. You can add or create the table and database based on your project. Let us make the ID data type integer and auto increment. Also, let's make the sensor value temperature and humidity, which will be received from the Arduino board to integer data type. In our case, we use Arduino random function as a sensor value, but you can use any hardware sensor. We also need to set date time column to current stamp date time data type and press save to create the table. Now we have successfully created our database and table. Now let's go to the Arduino code at the top of the Arduino code. Include the necessary library of your board type ESP80 to 66 in our case and any sensor library you are working with. Then you need to define your host, which is local host. If you plan to work on your local machine and also you need to define your Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password properly, declare a string send valve for storing temperature, send valve to for storing humidity and post data to store the data to be posted. We also need check Wi-Fi connection Arduino user defined function, which used to check if our Wi-Fi module is connected to the given SSID or Wi-Fi credential. The Arduino code in the setup function initializes serial communication and configures a Wi-Fi module to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Also, it will check the Wi-Fi connection status using check Wi-Fi connection function. Now let us see the main function, which is the loop function. In the loop function first, we will declare two objects, Wi-Fi client and HTTP client object. Then we will read the sensor values or else. We can use random number generator, Arduino function, or constant value for our sensor parameters. Then we need to change the sensor values to string to make it suitable for Arduino post method, which used to send the data to our database. Now, set the string post data as open quote send val equals close quote followed by the value of send val. Then we add open quote ampersand send val to equals close quote and append the value of send val to finally. Remember to include a semicolon at the end. You can extend it up to send val n. Call the begin function of the HTTP object and pass the client object and the URL, which is your computer's IP address followed by the path to your project folder and the name of PHP file. The PHP file should be configured to accept the post data from the Arduino and store it in the database. The add header function of the HTTP object is used to set the header, send the HTTP post request by calling the post function of the HTTP object and passing in the post data variable. The returned HTTP response code is stored in the integer variable code for further processing which is to return success message or error message. At the end of the loop function, we call HTTP.end to free the resources used by the HTTP client to ensure that we release the connection and associated memory. Then, we introduce a delay of 5,000 milliseconds using delay 5,000. This pause provides a 5-second delay. Before the next iteration, now we have made the Arduino code. Let us create the PHP file for accepting and storing the sensor data. Go to your XAMPP installation directory and create a folder with your project name in htdocs. Let's name it Makers Group. Inside this folder, create a new PHP file and name it sensor.php. One of the common issue which you might face is, even if you save the file in .php format, it will be saved as .php.txt file 
which implies that it is a text file to avoid this issue you can. Use code editor and see the icon if it is PHP icon instead of text. In the Arduino code, we need to update the URL in the http.begin function. Replace it with your computer's IP address, which you can obtain by running the ipconfig command in the command prompt. Then, append the path to your project folder, which in our case is Maker's Group. Finally, include the name of your PHP file, which in our case is sensor.php. To keep the video simple and accessible for everyone, we will provide all the necessary resources, including the PHP code, so you can easily copy and paste it. However, let's provide a general overview of what this PHP code accomplishes. The PHP code serves as a bridge between the Arduino board and the MISCL database. It establishes a connection with the database using the provided credentials hostnum, username, password, and database name. If the connection is successful, it confirms the successful connection to the database. The code then checks if the received post data from the Arduino board in this case, sendval and sendval2 is not empty. If the values are not empty, it captures the temperature and humidity data from the post data. Next, the code constructs an SQL query to insert the temperature and humidity values into the specified. My SQL database table in this case, sensor underscore data, if the insertion is successful. It confirms that the values have been inserted into the database, otherwise, it reports any encountered errors. Finally, the PHP code closes the database connection. This ensures that resources are properly released and the connection is terminated. Make sure to replace the placeholders with your actual values. Additionally, since we are using the ESP8 to 66 Wi-Fi module, we have to select the appropriate board type. Let us choose Node MCU, as it has the built-in ESP8 to 66 module, or you can use Arduino board with ESP8 to 66 Wi-Fi module. If you want to use other board, you only need little amendment of the Arduino code. Once you have made these changes, connect your Arduino board to your computer's USB port. This will allow you to upload the updated code to your board. Now as you can see the code is uploading. So let me make the video pause and I will be back once the upload is done. After uploading the code, if you encounter an issue where the Wi-Fi board is unable to connect to your Wi-Fi network, it could be due to a case-sensitive issue with the defined variables. Let's amend the SSID Wi-Fi network name to ensure it matches your network correctly. Make sure to double check. In case you encounter any errors while uploading the code, it is recommended to turn off your firewall and any other antivirus software temporarily. This is because firewalls and antivirus programs might block the communication between your computer and the Arduino board during the upload process. As you can observe during the code debugging, it appears that the data is not being successfully sent to the MySQL server. Upon reviewing the code, you have identified the mistake, which is using the insert into sensor table instead of the sensor underscore data table. We also need to include HTTP protocol. Before the IP address in the URL after amending this issues, try to re-upload the code. Great! Now you can see that the data from the Arduino board is being successfully sent to the MySQL database. However, you've noticed that the humidity value is constantly 90. This is because I accidentally omitted the random function that generates a random value for humidity. By including the random function and generating random humidity values, you will be able to send dynamic and varied data successfully to the database. If you have been following this tutorial so far, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you encounter any errors or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.